How's it going guys? My name is Graham and welcome to Don't Escape Four Days in a Wasteland, which is a very clever workaround for the fact that this is the fourth game in the series, the first three being free online flash games, but now because they've kind of worked it in as a subtitle, it's not like readily off-putting to people if they don't know that there was three games that came before it. The general premise here being that these games play out kind of like a point-and-click adventure game mixed with uh, an opposite reverse escape room. So you go through your day trying to collect as many things as you can to secure yourself, hunker down, so that at the end of the day you can't escape. In the first scenario, you were a werewolf and it was the new moon was coming out, the full moon. The second time was a zombie outbreak. Your friend had been bitten and you were trying to lock yourselves up so the zombies couldn't get at you for the night. And and the third one was you were uh, alone in space trying to solve kind of a, a weird invasion mystery on your spaceship. So thematically the games are very different, but conceptually they have that through line of trying to secure yourself. So it's very cool. I'm very interested to see what a full version of this becomes with script welders still making them the same as they did before. And a huge thank you to Armor Games who has been partnered with him for all four of these games who were kind enough to send me a copy cool thing in this game for the first time you actually get to see your actual character like moving around and interacting usually that was never never really there so i imagine the character is actually going to walk around the room to interact with things so it'll be a bit more difficult for people who are excited about you know speed run potential that they're going to have to formally click and walk around themselves but i think it adds something to the game it makes it a little bit closer oh shit oh come on well, I didn't escape, but I also didn't live longer than like five seconds. Oh, it's a nightmare. Oh shit, okay. I thought I was gonna have to start over and I, presumably the door wasn't gonna work either. Man, I lost my train of thought. Right, I, I just feel that the clicking around makes this a little bit closer to the point and click games and a little bit further from kind of the reverse escape room thing, but both are still in here uh, thematically. So it was a nightmare, grab a backpack, Use the backpack to access your inventory, of course, easy enough. That campfire kept me warm through the night. There's nothing left of it now. Uh, can you tear down the tent? I think this tent served me well long enough. It's too damaged to keep using it. I'll just leave it here. Hmm. I'm curious how much we're going to get to know about the world being destroyed. I don't like the look of this cloud. It seems to be moving this way. Ooh, kind of the cool pixely looking thing there. I'm curious if we'll get to learn why we're in a wasteland. I think my nightmare might have been more than just a dream. This is reminding me of the nightmare, with a spelt with a K from like Batman vs Superman. I still have a couple of hours, but I have to find a shelter. Fast. The days must not be very long. Use the journal to access journal and check current progress. I want to I wanna ask about the moon. It's shattered, just like all the dreams humankind ever had. Absolutely ever. We uh, we never got flying cars, never got jetpacks, never figured out a good way to get the seeds out of pomegranates. Those dreams are dead, never to be recovered. November 21st, 1996. Ooh, this is uh, going back. We're in an alternate timeline here. It's been a while since I've written anything here. The world is dead, they say, so why even bother? I think the moon, what's left of it, is getting bigger every day kind of expanding the shattered pieces, that would really ruin the tides, which would make a big difference. If just the moon exploding was enough to destroy humanity, like it could have exploded and a meteor hit the world and, and caused a big dust cloud. There's like theories that something like that could happen. A meteor, not the moon exploding, but one could lead to the other, I suppose. I had a weird dream last night. It felt so real. I was attacked by a swarm of giant bugs or locusts? I don't know. All I know is that it was painful as hell when they stripped the meat off my bones. This morning I saw something that looked like a dark cloud on the horizon. I know it's not really really a cloud. The swarm is coming. I have to find a place to hide. Shit, that's cool. Is it just a swarm of locusts? Or is it like uh, something more sinister? Something more extreme that is like specific to this game? Uh, we, we have an actual weight capacity, which is totally new to the series here. Usually there's a way to keep track of the amount of like hours you have left in these games. So I was curious if that would be something I would be able to find around in the the menu here. Uh, presumably the first time I need to t uh, take on a task that uses up time, it'll come up. 
another ruin slowly swallowed by the desert, which I would be really curious to know where we are. Like, oh, double click to run. Nice. That is very good to know. Uh, I'd be curious to know if we're uh, somewhere that's normally like a, a regular city that's like a nice springy suburb area and the entire world is just desert now. I don't have time to walk around this wall. There's got to be a faster way to get through to the other side. Just take this convenient doorway. Ah, well, your time is limited. Keep in mind, it only advances with certain actions, which is how the game normally, the series normally goes. When you find a hiding place and prepare it for the night, use the clock icon to finish the current day. Since it's four days in Wasteland, I want to see if we can do one episode per day. That's kind of the goal. We'll see how that uh, shapes up. 13 hours left. He made it sound like we had so much less time. Good old hole in the wall. If only that hole was just a bit larger, I could squeeze through to the other side of that wall. There are not a lot of options for where we can go, so I guess we're going to want to check in the shed here first. A sledgehammer head. Oh, shit. But, the, I mean, there's, like, nowhere else we can go. Our options are essentially... Oh, we don't even have a post. Okay, take, take a, a fence post out then and build yourself a sledgehammer. But that's going to take time, and then sledgehammering is going to take time. This wooden pole in the ground seems to be stuck. Pulling it out will be difficult, but with some effort, you should be able to do it. Uh, it will take three minutes. Yeah, that's fine. You can do that. Usually things in this game take like half an hour or whatever. Will combining them take no time? No, that's a lot of weight. Sledgehammer on the hole in the wall. <laughs> Putting the head on the post, like pulling the post out of the ground took three minutes. And then I did that in like two seconds. I thought that would take a lot more time. Ooh, that's like a cool angle. Usually these games kind of blend real world photography with pixel art and kind of do it in a cool, convincing way. Uh, it seems like this game... Oh shit, can you like not walk out into the sand? I don't think I want to risk that then. Uh, can you like walk along the edges? Or are you kind of just stuck? I don't want to go back through it. Crap, I think I probably have to go across then. There's some sort of quicksand. I'm too heavy. I should get rid of that sledgehammer. Oh, okay. Yep, that makes sense then. I gotta stop side railing my train of thoughts here. Because now I kind of forget what I was saying a second ago again. But I'm just excited. Oh, yeah, the blending of like the pixel art and, and regular. Uh, it looks like it's entirely hand-drawn by script welder themselves this time. So I, I kind of dig that it's all original art this time. Vast desert lies ahead. It's a long walk, though you have no other way but to traverse it. I mean, don't get lost in the desert on your way, dude. Uh, it's going to take 50 minutes. That doesn't sound that crazy. 50 minutes of walking in, like, one direction. You would think that's, like, a high risk of getting lost or whatever, but this guy seems confident that he's going to find his way. Armor Games presents a game by Matthews, script welder, Soklaskvik. I went away too, a little too quickly for me to read it properly. I hope I didn't butcher his name. Usually just goes by Script Welder. It's the first time I've ever seen an original name written out like that. Ooh. Cool. It's just uh, really awesome to just take in the scenery for a second there. Really appreciate the setting, the gravity of everything that's going on here. Oh, they even had help with uh, some of the writing in the game and everything? Well, this place looks promising. You didn't know where you were going? I was banking on you, man, when you said you were going to wander 50 minutes into the endless-looking desert. Uh, 1.5 miles to gas. Path uphill, a road east, a road west. I think I'm going to head to the house first, since that feels kind of the most promising. I don't, I can't really see what's going on in the other directions there. I wonder if it's going to roll out the credits per screen I go to, which is kind of cool. Uh, just peek in the window, maybe? Just kind of have a quick look and before you go committing too hard. I have to break the glass if I want to get inside. Well, so this is probably locked then. Can we go around the house? Backyard path. Yes. We can always check a back door. Or this weird house that only has one window in the entire setup. That's a little bit different, isn't it? It's locked. I guess we check the water sprayer in the greenhouse. I could recycle some of the nails that hold this greenhouse together, but I need a tool for that. Okay, cool. Uh, a water sprayer. 
It could be used to spray plants with water if I didn't have better things to do, and if I had plants. And water. It kind of seems like we're missing all of the essentials. It's a wasteland. I wouldn't expect to have many things. Water irrigation system. These pipes seem to cover a lot of area surrounding the house with the irrigation system. I doubt we're going to have much luck with that. Months spent out in the open took its toll on this tractor. It's completely ruined. There isn't even anything to salvage. So it's been months, I, I guess, likely not years, unless it's been, you know, like 12, 15 years. At that point, people send to start to start to be more specific. Like, ah, it's been like a year. So I, my guess is we're in the scale of like a couple months, maybe half a year or something. It's been a harsh stretch, though, because it really rusted this thing out quite thoroughly. I'd be sketched out about going into a barn. One, it would be very helpful. Two, it would probably be very dark. Uh, and three, it would have a shitload of hiding places. So I'd be kind of scared about what may or may not be in here. Just keep kicking that apart sooner or later. Mmm, there's uh, seriously big holes in this pipe. Would there be any reason to try and patch it? I should find a way to get into that house before I start fiddling with things in here. So, a pesticide inlet, I wonder if we could hose something, eventually you're gonna have to hose something down outside to get rid of pests, possibly locusts. That seems like a day three or four thing. Emergency power generator. I should find a way to get into the house before I move back. Okay, fine. Fine, 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 if that's what you're totally committed to doing. Oh, we could stash things in the back of the truck here. I mean, we'd have to get the truck running for that to be, uh, useful in any way shape or form a metal pipe how how great is that uh, i'm gonna click around water pump and irrigation control system i want to kind of just double check and see what can be done around here before i leave all right i guess uh i guess i'm not figuring anything out with the barn anytime soon path downhill ah uh, that's just taking me away from the house again like am i gonna have to axe the door down or something. It's not exactly what I want to do, but none of this walking around so far is eating up time. Okay, so we got we are gonna like hunker ourselves down into the house first. I guess we're very committed to this particular uh, starting point then. I mean, it's a pretty damn secure house. You can't get into it. Mm. Do you know what pipes are good for? Smashing things. So, I'm going to go ahead and say that the easiest way to get in here is just bash it up. Cool. Having an actual character in the world provides a lot of opportunity to have cool little animations for interactions and stuff like that. So, I'm down for that in this game now, too. This place seems, uh, looks abandoned. I've used a different word for no reason. Staying here might be a good idea, but I only have a few hours to convert this ruin into a fortress before my nightmare catches up with me. I should look around and explore. That road sign might be a good start. Mmm, so I am gonna branch out other than just this uh, immediate area within today. 7.53, I found an abandoned house. That's cool that we'll have the real time link to it based on how much time we've spent. We did the three minutes with the fence post and 50 walking. That looks like a good place to stay. I should go out, explore down the road, and look for something to fortify this place with. Hopefully if we can get the truck running, we would save a ton of time for ourselves too, driving between locations and stuff. This is, uh, I'm pretty sure Don't Escape 1. I'm fairly certain. It's one of the Don't, Esca Don't Escapes. I'm fairly certain it's the first one, where you're the werewolf locking yourself up for the night. It's a painting of an old-fashioned wooden hut somewhere in the wilderness. That's such a cool throwback. I love that so much. And I'm glad I played it within the last couple months, so it's fresh in my mind. This photo of an old lady was taken years ago. The colors have faded a bit, but her warm smile is still clearly visible. Kindling box is empty. Fireplace is empty. <laughs> Only some ashes from previous uses still scattered all around it. I also think the chimney is clogged. I don't feel any air draft. That's actually good news, at least for now. Until you get cold and chilly, or you want a hot cup of noodles. If you somehow still have noodles in this wasteland, God, I hope you do, or else what's the point? Remember, your inventory is limited. Uh, you can put in items here for later use. You can also just drop them on the ground. They will not disappear. That's kind of cool. I dig that there's like a persistence to the world if you if you do drop things. 
I'm gonna take the hammer because probably it doesn't it doesn't weigh that much and probably we'll we'll be able to find a place to repair it and then I can get like nails from that greenhouse and stuff. Start thinking forward. The way the light is shining through the stained glass here is very reminiscent of Don't Starve 2, where there was a church. I mean, a stained glass is a stained glass, but it's just kind of cool that there's a, a parallel going on there within the house as well, even if it's maybe not as on the nose. It's locked. Uh, keys would be useful, because then we can probably just come and go whatever direction we please, or not. Maybe we don't want things unlocked anyways. Buy milk. I think they never bought that milk. Unlikely. Some phone numbers are listed on this piece of paper. I'm going to go ahead and say that's not uh, useful. The fridge is empty after such a long time without electricity. I'm relieved to know that. Oh, if you've ever found a not plugged in, like, power lost fridge that still had food in it, it's like one of the worst things you'll ever find. It's so rank and awful. Electrical socket. It won't solve any of my problems without anything to plug in. And without energy, it's kind of a, it kind of needs to work on both ends, you know. Uh, I've opened the oven. I've also switched on, but nothing happened because there's no power. Pretty straightforward. <laughs> Probably could have guessed none of that was gonna work. The keys are useful, but I was kind of half anticipating a little bit more being in that general area. Some nice wine glasses in case we want to get fancy broken computer, the screen's all cracked, and the case seems partially burnt, this PC won't turn on. I wonder if they chose to set the game in 1996 entirely because things like solar panels and, you know, more uh, things that allow people to be more self-sufficient uh, would be less common. Like, uh, obviously computers and stuff aren't going to work without electricity no matter what, but then all of a sudden if you have generators and home batteries and, and things like that, uh, solar power generators, then all of a sudden a lot of that is viable. It's still rare. It's not overly common, even now, but it would be like non-existent in a time like this. So I wonder if that's a big motivation for setting it in the past ways. I can see each and every day spent on the wasteland reflected in this face. Hmm, you're also very clean shaven, I just kind of noticed that, so there's some level of hygiene going on. There's no time to take a bath, unfortunately. Also, no water. You gotta, you, you always kind of put the cart before the horse here when you rationalize why you can or can't do something. A nice view around, around the wasteland with the moon hanging above like an executioner's axe. So maybe the, the moon wasn't what initially took the swing at Earth, but maybe it's what's going to cause the actual f finale and some other great catastrophe or, or what have you is what sent us into being a wasteland to begin with, resulting in a blown up moon, which is going to kill us in the end. A nice view, again, Executioner Moon. This guy's a real big fan of all that. A ladder leading to the ceiling hatch. That also reminds me, when I tried to use the door downstairs with the keys, it didn't work. Uh, because it doesn't actually auto-apply items in this game. And I can't find any means of opening it. How about the keys that you have here? That wouldn't work. I thought it seemed like a pretty good idea, dude. You don't want to just try that one more time? <laughs> um, but I'm going to try it in, in this now just to be certain. I'm pretty sure things in the game don't auto-apply. Yeah, there we go. So now, now it is unlocked for us. So that's handy. Uh, it would be handier if you actually went out that way. There we go. <laughs> now I have to remember, though, at the end of the day, to, like, close that and lock that. Because that's usually very important to these sorts of games. Oh, wait, now that we've figured out how to get into the house, are you willing to kind of fiddle around a little bit more? I could use this to add something to the water that will be pumped to the sprinklers. Not that we can really do that right now. It seems to be dead. I think it's powered by that big generator next to it. Ooh, do you have fuel in you at all? To the water pump to the house or off? I want you to just be off for now, I think. I just want to not 
worry about it for the time being until I kind of figure things out. Car seems to be in bad shape without taking a moment to inspect it. You can't be sure what needs to be done. Apart from finding a spare wheel, of course, checking will uh, take some time. Do you want to do this? 15 minutes. Uh, that's not as bad as I thought it would be. I think at this point it's worth it. Well, the car could be started, I guess, but it doesn't look very good. Obviously, a wheel is missing. The ignition coil is busted. It has no fuel. So quite a lot is wrong with it at this point in time. But we have a we have a little bit of a shopping list here. Milk? I mean, no, sorry. <laughs> we, we need like a wheel, ignition, those other things. Actually, shit, could you pop a wheel off this? I mean, it would be kind of absurd if somehow that was the uh, appropriate size, just like conveniently exactly the size we needed, but I thought it was worth considering. Get off my back. <laughs> Uh, fuel. Mm. Fuel's gonna be in that direction, to the west. I'm gonna head east first, because probably that's where I'll, like, find places, uh, like a fuel jerry can or something. Uh, roadblock. Time to travel 15 minutes. Destroyed bridge. Shit, so I'm not even gonna be able to get to the fuel supply anyways. But here's something to keep in mind when, uh, rationing things like this out. You would have to go 15, 15, 15. Like, you, you can't just go 15 and then 15. You have to do the, the in-between steps. I'm going to go with the roadblock first, and then hopefully we can repair the bridge and go a step further. God damn it. That's awful. Oh, God. Those corpses are partially eaten. Particularly eaten. The swarm got them. It looks like these men put up a fight and killed a bunch of the insects. So they do look like they're just kind of little regular locusts. Not anything more intense than that. There's just swarms of them, I guess. But they didn't stand a chance in the open. I think we have to inspect. Something shines between the pieces of torn bag that he was carrying. There was a strange remote controller in the corpse's bag. Hmm. It looks like a part of a radio or something like that. Ooh, can we kind of like fiddle around with the insect a little bit maybe? Like do a mini autopsy or something? A uh, dead insect, a huge dead insect. Can I pick up any others? I guess that, that one was a slightly different color, wasn't it? It tricked my brain into being like, this is the one that you can click. Uh, pick up a quick monkey wrench. Let's hope it'll be more useful to me than it was to them. Yeah, definitely. At some point, I'm going to have to do something with that insect body. And I'm so curious as to what that'll be, because that seems really cool. Small leaflet tucked between the folds of the ripped clothes. Attention team! As of this week, we've been hired by the locals to help deal with a new kind of locust terrorizing the area. Was this from quite a while ago? Or is there an organized group still existing in this wasteland who are helping out locals and stuff? Like, what are these communes? There's a lot of questions here. Perhaps we will finally use our sonic repellent device. Maybe that's what our remote device was for. Uh, it fends off different kinds of insects. You just have to install it in the ground. But before you can start counting on it, you have to know exactly what type of insects you are dealing with and set the right frequency with the remote controller. So there's the locusts and possibly other threats. I know this job sounds exhausting and a bit dangerous, but at this point we need the food and fuel the locals are paying with. I guess you gotta risk it then, if that's what it's gonna come down to. Uh, I already I already read that. I just wanted to see if you interacted with things twice. There's nothing useful here. Alright, that's kind of what I figured. I have to take a closer look to check out this vehicle. I think we have to. The car is busted, so it's not going anywhere. One part that seems to be fine is the ignition coil, but getting it won't be easy. Uh, I think we have to, though. It's gonna save too much time down the line. Uh, it'll take 45 minutes to remove. Having a working car is going to allow us to move heavy things, and like there's, it, it'll just be so important. I've removed the ignition coil from the car. Broken, dismantled car. That's all, though. We can't get in there and take off a tire. Crucial to start a car's engine. Car wrecks? We could probably get a car from up here, right? Pest control truck. It's got a bunch of flat tires. Ooh, that's spooky in the foreground. I like it. I like it a lot. I think that's super cool. Back door is locked. Uh, do you think you could pry that open? 
pipe was good for smashing windows, but it's too broad to fit between the door and the rest of the truck. No crowbar options, huh? Bad idea. Well, let's see, you recommend an idea then. <laughs> I did my part. Historically, when playing these games, I have usually failed on my first attempt and then have had to like speedily work through the game to catch back up. Yeah, 30 minutes. To catch back up to the point where I failed at and then do it correctly the second time sort of thing. And I kind of hope that on this multi-day, longer journey that I uh, don't screw it up like that. But it's a high possibility. Stack of planks. Can't take those planks with me, but they would be useful uh, right here by the bridge if I had the proper tools. Or we could use them to board up the house. But probably... Ooh, a spade. That could be useful. But presume... Oh, shit. Come on, man. Well, that sucked. Oh, cool, but let's build a new hammer. A working hammer there. It's too bad we don't have a spade. Uh, but these could, like, build a bridge or board up the house. Probably we're going to need... That was a thing in the second game. You could recruit other people to help you, and they would make certain tasks uh, faster. This car has been wrecked beyond repair. Maybe I could take its wheel off if I had a wrench, which I happen to have. Ah, so he doesn't immediately use it, but he at least reminds us that we have what we need. Another 15 minutes, honestly, not that not that bad. I mean, taking a tire off is usually not a very long process, but when it's on its side like this, I figure it would make it a little bit tougher. I should have read through the dialogue, actually. I'll, I'll make sure to not skip over that sort of stuff in the future. Apart from almost falling off the cliff once, all went well and I got the wheel. Yeah, it seemed kind of like a, a sketchy situation. Wow, not a very heavy wheel, is it? Uh, a car wheel taken from a wrecked pickup truck. I think... Well, let me read what you have to say about these one more time. But they could probably be useful right here by the bridge if I had the proper tools. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Do you want to cross the ravine? It takes five minutes. I guess I better. That's not a, a terrible loss of time. I thought it would say something like, uh, but you also risk exposure or something, but that's not really this game's MO. I don't want to spend, like, a day building a bridge or anything, then. Ah, uh, but eventually I'm going to have to take the car across, aren't I? Because a five-minute loss for myself here and there repeatedly is, is nothing. But if I have to keep doing that over and over again, uh, and I have to take the car to these different places, then, yeah, I'm going to need that. Gas station shop with two, two entrances. Parking lot. Can't really do anything with these currently. All right, I'm going to check out the inside of the shop first. Jerry can is a nice, easy, obvious thing to pick up. It's empty. Well, the container might be useful. Bag of charcoal. Don't know exactly what I would do with that. Be careful what you pick up. You won't need every single item you find. Uh, just because you said that makes me think that that will become important. Grab like a hustler or something while you're, while you're here. It's a lonely wasteland. A newspaper from long ago sits in the magazine stand. Oh, cool. Yes, this is what I want. March 12th, which, so I guess like a day after this game comes out. And then, you know, 22 years. <laughs> but uh, I, I do like that they tied it towards the, the actual release. Lunar Explosion. The world is still in shock after yesterday's explosion that has left our moon with huge cracks visible to the naked eye from Earth. Scientists say that while it may look dangerous, there is no need for concern. The cracks are surface level only and the explosion will have no serious consequences. Oh, you fools. You were so wrong. So, so wrong. The cause of the event is still unknown. Many point to one of the world's largest tech corporations, Side Real Plexus. <laughs> That's an overly long name and not, it's not that cool, guys. That was rumored to launch a mining operation on the moon earlier this year. A spokesman from the company has denied these claims. Yes, we were preparing to dig for helium-3 this autumn. That's a real thing. Helium is very scarce on Earth. It is in the moon. We can go and mine it. This is a very unique, cool take on the apocalypse. So I'm, I'm kind of down. I'm down for that. Another thing that just occurred to me, this game has been in development for at least two, possibly three years. 
Yeah, at, at least three years, because I think the first trailer for it came out in 2017. And so at the time the game started development, this was 20 years in the past. I'm kind of curious why they didn't uh, change it to 1999, but maybe that would have thrown off some of the stuff I mentioned earlier about uh, solar panels and what have you. Uh, this autumn, but I assure you we haven't even started. Now, of course, the whole operation is going to be halted until further notice, he adds. Another expert believe, other experts believe the explosion was caused by an undetected meteor that crashed into the moon. Whatever the case might be, the governments of the world urge people to remain calm. Remain calm. A hunting rifle. We're going to blast those bloody insects to hell if it comes down to it. I have a hunting rifle <laughs> and some bullets. Not a perfect weapon against those bastards, but it will probably help. What else can I do to prepare? Yeah, having a little bit of uh, defense is probably uh, probably good right now. Trinket stand. There's a lighter here. That could be useful. I would say 100% worth it. Still working. It has six bullets. Barbecue charcoal and an empty canister. Crowbar stuck in the cash register. Do you want to free the crowbar using brute force? The crowbar seems to be really stuck there. It might not be easy to get it out with your bare hands. Five minutes. I mean, it'll probably, that'll probably end up being significant to the larger game, but for now, I, I'm just going to have to risk things like that. Maybe I could have used the wrench or whatever. I don't know. Well, you never know. Maybe it's going to be worth something again someday. <laughs> I, I That honestly should have been like, this is going to take two minutes to pick up all this cash. What a stupid waste of time. Nice thick wad of pretty much useless pieces of paper. I don't know, maybe there's some weird wasteland bums out there that still like exchanging money for things. A roll of plastic wrap? I thought we were going to take that whole huge ridiculous pile. 39.9! Crap. A roll of plastic wrap. Well, we can probably start putting certain things down and wait until we have a, a vehicle. Oh, we can't grab any of this sweet looking Pepsi 7-Up or Fanta? Orange Crush, maybe? Metal bars. Those would be great for reinforcing as well. It's too heavy. I have to put something down first. It weighs 9 kilograms. Uh, I'm surprised I would be able to carry that with me, honestly. So in, in this case, I am going to put down the charcoal because I, it might come in handy. It might somewhere down the line, but uh, this is much more likely to be useful much sooner. A set of strong metal bars, the gaps between the bars are quite large. So, not really going to use it as a sieve or anything like that. A small rock. Oh, I, I'm, I'm just looking out the window for now. Oh, curious. Kind of, I'm trying to survey the area and see if there's like a trap waiting for me or anything like that that I need to concern myself with, you know? Seems pretty legit. Oh, this is kind of weird that we're still looking at it through the window. I'm worried about a jump scare, like something walking through the window or anything, anything like that, really. A small round rock. I don't know what the hell we're going to do with that. Oh, there's a valve from which the fuel should flow. How do I open it? That seems like it would be easy. Uh, maybe you can just hold this straight up to it. Maybe you don't actually need a hose or anything like that. Get ready to close that shit, though. Uh, Alright, first things first, then just set this up, then. So that uh, you're not wasting it switching items in your pack and things like that. Oh, the sound of things filling up is so satisfying because it's so reliably... Always the same, no matter what the canister and what the liquid. There's something about that that I absolutely love. I don't know if anyone's ever uh, seen it, but there's like a ridiculous thing that the human ear can tell the difference between pouring hot water and cold water. Look it up. It's a real thing, and you'll get it right like 19 times out of 20 or whatever. It's so strange that it works, but it totally does. I'm going to ditch the rock. Sorry, rock. You seemed like you were going to be so useful. Shit, wait, how much does this thing weigh? 10 kilograms. Damn it all. It weighs a lot more than I thought it was going to. Well, in that case, I should probably drop the big ass thing of metal. Yeah, I'm gonna go stick it over here so it's easier to click around on later when the time comes. I feel like otherwise it might get kind of tricky. And is there remotely anything else that would make sense to do while I'm over here? 
no, I think I can just go back and make sure I get that car in working order. Then I'll take the car out and drive around and grab some of that stuff. 38 minutes to go back. I'm assuming it factored in the fact that I was going to have to climb over the ravine and, and all that sort of business. Nine hours left till midnight. Is midnight really going to be the risky part, though? Or, like, no, that's terrible math. That's not how it works. 8 p.m. That makes more sense. 11 plus 9 equals 20 equals midnight? No. I don't know. We don't have a moon anymore. Maybe there's 20 hours per day. You guys don't know. Sh shut up. <laughs> oh, come on. Where's the there, where's the ignition thing that I pulled out of there? There it is. It, weirdly, weirdly, it looked like another bug. It had little wings and it looks like little antenna peepers on it or whatever. I'm just dumb, is all that happened there. Installing the part will take some time. Do you want to do this? Yes. I've installed a part. Good for you, dude. It's weird that it keeps calling this a car when it's clearly a truck. A vehicle would be a better broad term for it, I suppose. And it's going to take 15 minutes again. Yeah, I think that's all right. And let's fill this guy up. Mmm. And on the way back, we can grab fuel for the generator as well. Yes. We have a key for this, correct? Because that's going to become important. I'll be pissed. Oh, we have to worry about time and fuel. Shit. And we have to... Okay, okay, zero. Zero minutes before we do any of that. Um, we need to go and get ourselves a bunch of nails. Uh, I can recycle... Right, I accidentally double-clicked and ruined it. 20 minutes to pull a bunch of nails. Uh, I feel like we could even go crazier than that. Broken planks, handful of nails. Grab, grab as much of that as you can get your filthy little hands on. And can I actually do it a second time? Because I wouldn't mind doing it multiple times. Um, I think it would be worth it. Probably these planks are things that I can just set aside for now. Let's see, what all do I have? The communicator for now, the money, things like that all seem like goofy stuff I'm not going to need immediately and I want to try and free up some some weight keeping all my tools seems like a, a good idea having a weapon having the fuel option all seem like they'll be important I'm gambling a little bit there because I, I don't know at this stage what sort of things are and aren't going to become important oh cool you can actually visibly see this being uh, dismantled I didn't realize after the first time how how much had been taken apart there. I also am going to scoop my way over to here, because that doesn't take any additional time, and I'm going to crowbar open this, because now, now I finally have the crowbar that I obviously was going to need. So, what do we have? Probably a bunch of uh, pest insecticide stuff that'll be useful for the irrigation system. Right. Uh, can of pesticides. How much is that going to weigh? Two kilograms, not too crazy. The label says it's a strong pesticide that is harmful to all bugs and insects and life in general. I guess. It should be used after mixing with water, which ah, we don't even have water. It's locked. Maybe we're only going to have access to the one. Maybe we're only going to have access to the one that has anything. A weird device. Mm, maybe this will pair with the remote thing. A sonic repellent device. Drop this item to set it up. Uh, the device is supposedly used to fend off bugs and insects. Cool. I have the, the control for it now, too. Oh, a sticky note. Oh. <laughs> okay. This seems very important. Screenshot because I'm probably going to need that. Can I, am I going to take that with me? Good. That's, uh, that's good thinking. <laughs> okay. Okay, cool. So now I would probably need to start carrying around that, uh, that insect corpse, I would say, because that's going to become definitely, definitely, definitely important. Uh, I'll stick a bunch of the things that seem a little heavier back here. 
and hope that I don't wreck the truck at some point and screw myself over. That would be very devastating. <laughs> Seven minutes and 9% of fuel. Presumably I can always go back and keep fueling up, but I am going to keep losing time over and over again, right? Can you build a bridge? How long would it take to build a bridge? Do you want to use the hammer and nails to build a makeshift bridge? This will require one handful of nails, so only one of the two I collected, but it will allow you to travel through the ravine without any delays. However, you will still have to stop your vehicle here if you have one. Shit. Yes. I have a lot of time left of the day. An hour and a half isn't too crazy. And I have a general idea. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna put pretty well everything in here for now. Not absolutely everything. But most of the heavy stuff. So I can run across without time delays which is going to be important. It's not going to save me a ridiculous amount of time. Crap, you still have to walk to here. Jesus. Oh, wait, so it's even less of a time saver than I thought it was. Uh, but I'm hopeful... Oh, shit, you can take multiple of the plastic wrap. That's uh, news to me. Multiple of the metal bars. Also <laughs> news to me. I think this is going to be worth it, though. Because I'm going to grab so much stuff for reinforcing. All of it, really. As much as the game will let me, then we'll load it all into the truck here, and then we'll be able to take all that stuff back back to our house in like a big old load of, of usefulness. I need you to be able to hold the full 30 kilograms, because I'm pretty sure a lot of the stuff is quite heavy, and so I'm dumping everything on the ground rather riskily. Even the lighter. Why the hell not? Uh, so that I can grab as much as possible. I'm assuming that that'll be a worthwhile trade-off. It seems like it'll be a good idea to me. I have no idea why I would possibly want this rock. I'm going to grab it for the time being. Shit, I should have taken the gas can with me. Because I'm definitely going to need more fuel at some point. If not immediately, then soon. I maybe even could have still had enough spare weight to carry it. So that was, that was a mistake. <laughs> I just, uh, I found the hunting rifle a second time, so it added it to the journal and it replaced the original time I found it. What a short-term memory this character has. Might be getting a little bit of the wasteland madness going on. Oh, look, I found a rifle. Oh, look, I found a rifle. <laughs> okay, I've had to do quite a bit of running around. I think it might be getting visibly darker outside for 3 p.m. at this point. I think think it's becoming noticeable that I'm losing time here. Uh, luckily, I shouldn't have to move around too much more here. Uh, I'm gonna load this up. If I don't need it immedi immediately, uh, I, I am gonna need it at some point. Presumably I'm gonna have to patch up this pipe, but I don't really know, like, I don't really have anything that seems like it would be great for patching up pipes, you know? Uh, but I do at least have the pesticide that I should be able to put into the inlet. So I might, I'll do that now while I still have it in mind. Oh, could I? There's a spot for two there, possibly. Hmm. I'm, I'm curious. I'm curious about that now. I could also take a quick look at the insect and compare that, but I don't, I don't think I'll need it immediately. I'm probably not, not going to need the rock immediately. Possibly not ever. <laughs> Seems like kind of a stupid thing. Mmm. Maybe I can repair the pipe with the plastic wrap? It would be kind of a janky repair job, but that's like the closest guess I, I possibly have. Uh, I don't think so. No. Nowhere immediately that would make sense to stick that into. Somewhere here? At all? Doesn't think so either. Plastic wrap on the pipe? It won't make a tight enough seal. I kind of thought that would be the case. I wouldn't... I should have guessed. I don't think it's going to make any sense to wood plank this. That wouldn't work. I wouldn't think so. Alright, let me see if there's like uh, an order of operations here. I can't see how that would work. Can you combine the two? No. 
I'm just kind of trying to mix things together at this point. None of it's really an option. Oh wait, first step. Nope, I left a bunch of stuff in the truck that I meant to take with me. Idiot. I'm guessing I can pry the greenhouse apart one more time, like kind of at least. Um, I'd be surprised if it would let me do it twice. It would be kind of iffy. I think turning this on to the water pump right now would be a mistake. I, I feel like I haven't done enough there for that to be like a, a good option right now. Board up the window. Those planks are too rotten and fragile to be of any use here. Well, shit. We could have taken that pile of wood from the, uh, the overturned uh, car by the bridge. We couldn't have used that at all. How many, how many more times can I possibly pull this apart? 20 minutes. I'm gonna mess around with it. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep ripping this thing apart because I feel like it's important that I'm gonna need all this wood. Even if it is rotten, janky wood, having a bunch of nails and stuff seems like it's gonna be generally useful for a long time. It wouldn't, it wouldn't allow me to tear it apart this many times, would it? Unless it becomes useful? I know the game might have a handful of things that are there specifically to make you waste time because time is such a commodity in this game. I've already been able to pull apart more times than I would have, would have guessed, so it's hard to say. Can you do metal bars on the window? It's just hanging there. I should do something to attach it uh, to the wall around the window. Here's where I would say having these wood planks could come in handy then. I just had put them away to free up some, uh, some weight. Planks are too rotten. Shit. Just nails then? At the very least, even if the rotten planks suck and are useless, nails are always good. That'll still be useful, right? Attach it to the window. Yes, please. Oh, shit. I should have put plastic down. Right? I installed iron bars in one of the windows. Is there anything else I can do? Yes. It's getting darker, I think. I don't know, I might be sketching myself out with that. But the locust can get through metal bars. That's why it specifically said it's so large. Like it's too late, right? Oh crap, now I'm gonna have to waste time taking this all apart. 15 minutes. At least you're good at salvaging things, dude. First things first, plastic sheet. It's just hanging there. That's fine, because the next step will be to put the metal up. Oh, really? Well, shit. That doesn't work quite how I thought it was going to then. I installed plastic wrap in one of the windows. It's not as useful as I originally was thinking maybe it could be. Will you use boards on the door? Not interested, hey? Won't even board that one up. Won't put the metal bars on the door. This one might still be locked. That's fine. I can leave that locked, probably. There's no other way to reinforce it? Fair enough. Can you reinforce that? It's still closed, so maybe it's still safe. I'm gonna turn power onto the house, I guess, and see if that's uh, useful in any way. Give her a rip. It choked, but didn't start. Let's try that again. You don't wanna flood it. Come on, start already. There we go, finally it's running. Okay. Uh, is there any way I can keep an eye on how much fuel that has? Because I would be worried about that running out at some point. Let's take the charcoal, just in case. There might be something useful we can do with that. The oven is fully on. Maybe give that a quick close and switch it off. Good idea, I would say. What do you think we can do with some of that? Not interested in burning it. Can we burn the plastic to maybe do something about the, the holes in the pipes? I'm trying to think of what the hell this plastic and, and the wooden stuff will be useful for it because they have been totally useless up until this point. Probably not the best idea to stick a big hunk of plastic into the oven. 
but too bad this is not going to help me in any way. I probably don't need this today. That's what you think. Bad idea, hey? What about the fridge? Do we have anything that we would need to refrigerate? I don't think so. Do we have anything we would need to plug in? Again, I don't really think so. Oh, crap. There's a uh, another, another window up here that I kind of almost forgot about. So I'm going to want to board that guy up too. It's definitely getting darker out and we only have uh, like three hours left so I'm getting real low on time which is starting to wig me out. Oh shit and there's yet another even larger seeming window. Uh, I think I've ripped out enough nails. Yeah okay now all the different nails for the three different windows as well as the bridge Although, the, I mean, the bridge didn't make a ton of difference, but I did have to run back and forth quite a few times, so I feel pretty good about that decision overall. I'm liking the, the change in, in, like, time, you know? The, how seeing things shift to night or whatever, that's cool, I'm down for that. Do I run the generator all night? That seems foolish, right? can't really see how it would help me. I have thoughts and ideas. Genius ideas. Uh, can can I do can I set this guy up? Uh, if, if I if I get this uh, set up properly, is that going to make a difference? Can I just repel everything? Does it need to be plugged in? It says you just have to just have to drop it to set it up. All right, what can I what what can I discern about this guy? He has very outward facing mandibles like that. Uh, do his wings go back? They don't. He has kind of heart shaped wings that just go over his body. I think he might be this one. Oh, possibly this one. Are all his legs forward, or does he have this kind of backwards thing in his leg? He has the backwards thing in his leg. So I think he's 135. And that's presuming that things in the area are going to be a bunch more of more of the same, you know? Does this have to be plugged in? Because I'm just going to try that. It doesn't matter. It doesn't, it's not an important thing. Do I just stick it in the ground outside? In front of the house, maybe, rather than in the house? It seems like that would maybe make more of a difference. Right? A sonic propellant device. We don't want to... How do we set it? Hmm. That's probably what the, the remote is for, then. So, activate. I believe 135, that's what I had just said, right? So I'm going to go ahead and leave that in there. Hopefully that makes a difference. I hope at the end of the day it goes through the different decisions I made and what effect they had. Same as it did in the original games. It's kind of what I'm expecting. 135. Okay, so I feel good about that. I'm going to leave the power on, mostly because I don't really know. I put out a sonic repellent device. It should scare off some insects. Let's just hope I configured it to the right sound frequency. Will this be enough? The next thing I'm going to make sure that I do is close and lock this. Honestly, it's like not very reinforced. I don't think that makes much of a difference. Uh, this guy is has like no faith whatsoever in these chunks of of metal. He won't he won't put those up on the door. He won't put them up on the window. Yeah, he's still not still not willing to do that one. I never figured out the attic. I never managed to get into there. Should I try and crowbar this maybe? That's one thing I didn't try and that I didn't have as an option previously. Mm -mm. Not, that's not going to do anything. Seems like a waste of fuel to leave that generator on, but I'm kind of low on options. Before I go completely calling it a night here, I'm taking the car out for a quick spin, and I'm seeing if anything changes, like late at night. I don't really expect that to be the case, but I would hate to miss anything major because of that, you know? I also want to make sure I didn't miss anything inspecting this particular thing. Oh, this I don't think I crowbarred, and it could potentially have a second insect repellent thing. 
At the very least. It also has duct tape. Oh, this was huge. This was a huge trip back out. I almost called it a day. Literally, I almost called it a day when I think I suddenly have the means to repair this. And I can stick the second uh, repellent thing on there. So you apparently aren't going to run out of fuel on your own. I'm just switching it off for now. Whatever. I probably didn't need to do that. Conserve. Try and conserve when you can. Shit, that was all of the plastic wrap? Okay, maybe you just straight up duct tape that thing. I would be shocked if that's all it is. If you just duct tape it endlessly and that'll do the trick. But, uh, hell. Repairing ducts is what it's meant for. What are pipes? Basically ducts. So I'm gonna see if that works. Five minutes. Psh. Posh. Nothing. I've put enough duct tape on there to make it lost, last until the end of time. Well, until Thursday, that is. Okay. We got we got a few steps further along here. So I'm revving this thing up to the water pump. It's running again. I still think putting a sprinkler hose on there, uh, the sprinkler that we have, would in some way be significant. But it didn't let me do that, so I don't really know. Oh, nice. I'm not even out of duct tape. That's sweet. I'm always running out of duct tape in real life. Irrigation control system. So, stand by ground watering. Oh, did it say you need to add water to make it work? Overnight mist spray irrigation? This should cause the night sky to be soaked with dense mist. Active sprinklers. None of them? Oh. Oh, it's just like one of these kinds of puzzles. So I can probably... There is a way I can, like, maximize the efficiency here. So that's... I, I'll work a little bit to try and get that. Oh, it's it works literally in just the way that it only triggers the ones that are, like, adjacent to it. So that's okay. Uh, that's easier to solve than I originally thought it was going to be. There. Whatever. Just everyone pretend I did that on my first try. Okay. That's a lot. I've done a lot now. I scheduled the water sprinklers to put out a wall of mist with some extra pesticide solution. Can I improve my chances somehow? I feel pretty damn good about what we got going on here at this point. Can you close the door? Would there be any reason to? The, the uh, sprayer? Could we use to spray plants with water if I didn't have better things to do? Okay, maybe maybe that's not important. Maybe it doesn't need to be hooked up to the, the sprinkler or uh, anything like that. So now, 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 I think I have as much done as I can possibly think to do. Fingers crossed that that's enough to get us through one night here, at least. I think you can probably rest easy, bud. Climb on in bed. Two and a half hours to spare? Luckily, we don't have to worry about food. So you think you're ready. Pick one item from your inventory that you would like to equip during the night or cancel if you don't want to finish the day just yet. A wrench? I think I'm going to stick with the rifle. <laughs> Seems like that'll go a little bit further. 200 insects coming. The evening sky darkened as a black cloud of the swarm arrived. This is it, guys. Oh, man. There's like the whether or not you survived and got eaten down in your bones. You found a hiding place in the abandoned farmhouse. An automated sprinkler system kicked in as the swarm was getting near. Despite being old and faulty, the sprinkler worked perfectly, fully covering the area above the fields with a dense mist. As a result, 32 insects were stopped by the sprinklers. The water was saturated with strong pesticide. For the incoming swarm, it was a deadly wall of poisonous mist. The pesticide has killed 48 insects. The double whammy there. That went great. That was incredible. You deployed the sonic repellent device to fend off some of the insects. It was placed near your hideout, so the signal was strong. The device seemed to be set to the correct frequency, fending off 50 insects. 
the front door was closed, keeping away all of the 14 locusts that would have entered through it. The back door was closed, keeping away all the 14 that would have went through that one. The window on the ground floor was covered with plastic wrap. The foil was nailed to the frame. Out of 14 insects that tried to enter the house through that window, 14 were stopped. That way it was worded kind of differently, and I thought that wasn't going to work out. I bet you the next two windows are 14 each, and I nailed this. The window on the upper floor was covered with plastic wrap, and it was nailed. 14 were stopped. The bathroom one was covered and nailed. 14 were stopped. Yeah! <laughs> Click to view the summary. That's all of them. You fended off all of the insects before they even entered the house. I didn't even have to use my rifle. Fuck yeah. You went to bed early and had a well-deserved rest, allowing you to regain some strength. Plus five kilogram permanent carry weight bonus. This game is sweet and I'm awesome at it. Man, I'm so stoked. Oh, do we have a helicopter incoming? Is it going to crash into the house? Shit. <laughs> Are we just in the bed right next to it? I bet that's going to help us get up into the attic, potentially. Oh, seems like we're having another nightmare. And that seems like a perfect place to save, where I have done so beautifully. I'm so stoked <laughs> about how that went. Oh, man. I'm so excited that this game is here. I'm so excited to share it with you guys. We got three more days to go to survive in this wasteland. This is awesome. The game comes out now. It is out officially right now when this video is going live. I have a link down below. You guys can go check that out. Download it. Play it for yourselves. I hope you have a blast. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you again soon.